Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty. Today we are here to do a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I know that it has been a while since I filmed a full coverage makeup glam. I've been on mommy mode and I feel like I just have not had the time and I've had to have a little more grace with myself than usual because I am such a perfectionist when it comes to these things but I've had to learn that simple is more etc. So today we're focusing really on complexion and the eyes and the lips and just making you feel as romantic and as sexy as possible. Um, so let's get into this tutorial today. I can't wait to show you guys this makeup look. I am wearing a shirt by Shein. I'll talk about it a little bit at the beginning of the video um, just because I don't want you guys to think that I'm not wearing a shirt. I totally am. All right, let's get started with this look. I'm just going to put my hair up show you guys that I actually have a shirt which is a super cute shirt. I got this on Shein and I honestly could have gone a size smaller. This is a large. I could have totally done a medium just so that my bust area was a little, you know, but I'm in between sizes right now. As you guys know, I'm doing my weight loss journey situation, so you never know. Plus it's Shein and I tend to go large anyways on tops in Shein just because things do fit snug. <laughs> Let's zoom in. All right guys, sorry about that. It has been so long that I did my eyeshadow on camera that I totally forgot that I kind of try it out with one side first and then we move on. So um, also just reminding you guys to have a little bit of grace with yourself. I know that I have been struggling with this since I had the baby just because my body isn't what it used to be, my mind isn't what it used to be, and I have so many things to focus on now including my gorgeous son that I'm kind of all over the place sometimes and so I literally did this side and I even went on to like do the other side and I forgot that you know we're filming it today so anyways that being said I always keep a bottle of grace <laughs> uh, or the makeup version of it on my desk this is a gentle eye makeup remover for those of you guys that didn't know I do own a small business it's Jojo Beauty Consulting where I do makeup um, I do beauty consultations for skincare because I'm an esthetician, but I also sell skincare, including makeup remover. So this guy is oil-free, sulfate-free. It's very similar to Tears, but it gets the job done. Like this Huda Beauty eyeliner we're going to use was not playing with me. A regular baby wipe was not working, so we moved on to the strong stuff. So let's get started with our eye look today. I'm going to use some P. Louis Eye Base. I use this in the shade Rumor. I love this guy. It's so great. So I personally like to work with a set base. So I will go in and just set this real quick with a little bit of loose powder. So today we are going to play with the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette that she did with Morphe. I love this palette for every day, but I also love it for very romantic looks like the one we're doing today. So we're gonna start off with the shade Good Vibes, which is right here. And I'm taking that on the Makeup Shack eyeshadow brush T59. Love a good fluffy brush for an all over crease color. And we're just going to use windshield wiper motions from the outer corner in. That way, the most pigment stays in the outer corner and whatever is left over works its way into the inner corner. Pro tip I'm just going to recommend that you hold the brush at its furthest point so that you're using more of your wrist rather than the entire arm. The blend just comes out so much softer and awesome. So we're gonna move on to the next color, which is Cinnamon Roll. That's this guy right here. And I like to show you guys the colors just because if you don't have the specific eyeshadow palette, but you have something very similar, you know what colors to go with. And I'm gonna take a Morphe brush this time. This is the JH33, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. This is probably the second favorite because it's so similar to the first one. But this color I'm going to start off by packing or patting motions in this outer corner so that we drop off the most pigment here. And once I feel like I've done enough building, I can start with the windshield wiper motions and circular motions from the outer corner again towards the inner corner. And that's just to make sure that we keep the darkness low and out. So next we're gonna move on to this color called, what is it? 
Ah uh, Luxie or Aoi Luxie. It's just a pretty pearl type of pink. And we're gonna take that on a flat shading brush, pack it really nicely onto the brush to where you can see. And I'm gonna wet this and you're gonna see how beautiful this looks wet. I just used my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, held it a pretty good distance away. You don't wanna be too close. Um, and then we are just going to take this from the very inner corner and drag it in towards the center of the lid, not taking it past where your pupil is. The last step we're gonna do for this eyeshadow look is take this Risqué Business color right here. And I'm gonna just work that into the center of the lid and out towards the brown with my ring finger. And I'm gonna do that by patting it and dragging it out. And you can see they're just quick patting motions to blend it outwards. And that really helps to break up the harshness of the matte and shimmer and the gold and the brown. It's such a huge difference between the two colors that giving this like burgundy rich brown in the middle really helps to blend out your colors. So if you ever look at your eyeshadow when you're done and you're like, mm, something's missing, I would recommend doing something like this. So next we are moving on to liner. And for liner today, it's nothing fancy. This is something just to help shape the eye, lift the eye, and also hide the eyelashes if we're not experts. This is a trick that I recommend to my clients at home so that way they have some grace. It's a video about grace today. It's funny how you can incorporate that into makeup, but I love it. So we are using the Huda Beauty liner. This guy has a pencil tip and it also has a liquid liner. We're gonna start with the liquid liner. And we're gonna keep this close to the lash line but make it a little thicker so that you can see it once your lash is on. So after I've done that, what I'm gonna do is use the other end, the pencil end, and I'm going to do what's called tight lining. Tight lining, again, it just helps to fill in that skin fleshy piece that may be missing when you're doing your liner or when you're placing your lashes and it just helps to tie the look together very professional so i'm going to take this and put it in this very awkward area right here next up we're doing is mascara and lashes so for mascara i have truly been loving the sephora size up mascara which looks like this if you're someone who does not use lashes you can just totally build your lashes up with this and you don't need falsies However, if you do like yourself a falsy like I do, um, I am using the 3D Mink Lashes by Beauty Creation, and this is the style Slay, which is so pretty, so flirty, and again, it just kind of gets longer on the outer corner and it curls a little more there so that you can get that lift, lifted effect. For foundation today, we are using the Huda Beauty I forget what this is called oh for faux filter foundation and i love stick foundations if you're someone who's combination skin and you're wanting natural finish but good coverage huda beauty for you so i have chai and i have custard and i feel like i don't know which one i am is chai lighter than custard i think it is yeah so we're gonna use chai today i'm gonna just contour it up because custard just looks a little dark like my tan self dark you know so I'm gonna apply it using, I don't know, just enough. And I'm going to blend it out using my M439 brush, which is my favorite foundation brush. Look at how perfect that shade is. And it looks like skin. I am obsessed. Love that for us. It covered up decently all of the little blemishes that I had, which I like. So moving on, we are going to use this Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I'm obsessed. I love this concealer. I have it in my professional kit because I just love how well it works. And we're going to take this right under the eye area. I like to apply it with a brush and blend it out with a sponge. So you guys can see how I'm starting to clean up. this area here and I absolutely love to do that whatever's left over on the brush which trust me a little bit of this concealer goes a long way I'm gonna use for the center of my forehead I am NOT used to being this done up honestly it's been a while <laughs> all right so this is on before I go into setting with powders I have been trying out this new Anastasia 
cream bronzer in golden tan. We're gonna apply this in the shape of an E or a three on both sides and carve ourselves out. So next we are going to set. Now I'm going to go over this with my sponge one more time so that we can blend out any lines. I also wanna work over this area here where the bronzer and the concealer meet so that, you know, no hard feelings. We're not clumpy and lumpy. And then I'm gonna take loose powder I haven't talked about this on my channel in such a long time, but this is a combination of my favorite drugstore powders mixed into one container. I just love the way that this looks under the eye. I don't have to worry about it creasing or caking under there. It just works out so well. And I also like to work it in with my sponge, if you haven't noticed. Okay, so let's work on the under eye while that is baking a little and we are going to just repeat the same steps underneath of the eye. So we're gonna start off with good vibes. Next, we'll use cinnamon roll just in the outer corner here. Love that. And I am gonna leave this inner corner area open, but I do wanna put a little bit of that lid shade right in here. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys a trick that I absolutely love. Anytime that I'm doing any type of glam, romantic, wedding type of makeup, I always put white, beige, or pink in the inner corner or in the um, lower lash line here. So we're using this BH Cosmetic Power Pencil in the shade white. This is gonna open up our eyes. And then we're gonna take our mascara while we still have the powder under there and we are going to very lightly and carefully coat the lower lashes. I always just take off the excess because, you know, it's scary doing your lower lash mascara. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how long you've been a makeup artist. I'm still scared. And I personally like to set my face with my setting spray before I go into blush and highlight. And it just marries them. Love that. So let's talk about highlight and blush. Today we are using a Wet n Wild NYX combo. So what I'd like to do is layer the highlight first. And then for blush, I figured we're gonna do a bold blip. I wanna kinda just keep it flirty and I don't know, just flirty. We'll use flirty. And I'm gonna use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Summer Breeze for that. And I feel like it plays well with the colors in the blouse. It'll play well with the lipstick without being super overwhelming. All right guys, so still wearing the shirt. I just wanted to kind of feature the messy top knot situation, which I'm honestly obsessed with this hairstyle. Like I love how classic it is and yet it's super messy, super messy. I can guarantee you it is not as fancy as it looks. <laughs> but for the lip combo today, I used the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade, what shade is this? Hotcakes. And then I lined my lips with one of my recently newly favorite lip colors. This actually came in my BoxyCharm one of the months. And this is the Beauty Vault Matte Lipstick in the shade Natty Nat. And I honestly love it. It's very lightweight on, it's not super heavy and it wears really, really well. So this is my romantic Valentine's Day look for you guys. I hope that you liked this Valentine's Day inspired look. I hope that it was simple. It's pretty simple, pretty quick and easy. I wanted something that was just classic, romantic, but not complicated. So I hope that we achieved it today. Yay for us, we actually did a glam moment with full coverage makeup. I am so happy. Um, and I hope that you guys learned a little bit about Grace. I know that it was very brief and short and um, you know, we talked about 
makeup remover, which again, go over to Jojo Beauty Consulting on Instagram or Facebook and you can purchase yourself some makeup remover. Great for eyelashes if you have extensions, great for sensitive eyes if you have those, and it's not expensive, it's 12 bucks, guys. So love you guys, bless you guys, and I will see you guys next time.